Buta. We're now uh, joined on the line by uh, the son of Pick Buta, Piet Buta. Thanks very much for joining us on the line. Good afternoon to you. Uh, perhaps Good afternoon to you. Uh, perhaps we can just start by saying um, please accept our condolences on the loss of your father. Uh, it must be a very difficult time for you and your family. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, it's a difficult time, but uh, you know, I knew it was coming. You know, I've been very sick for couple of months, you know. Uh. All right. Um, at this time, I suppose, and as you say, you've kind of been uh, having time to reflect. Uh, as a son, let's start there. Um, how will you remember your father? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like uh, maybe a comet, you know. Mm. A shooting star, something with too much energy, you know. Yeah. I think for most of us uh, from the outside looking in, he had this uh, charisma and uh, this way uh, mm -hmm. about him. Um, what was he like as a, as a father at home, away from the cameras and the press? No, he was great. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we would sit, you know, by the fire and talk about politics and stuff, you know. Uh, look, man, from when we were kids, you know, he told us uh, that everything is going to change mm -hmm. eventually, you know. Uh, and we were brought up that way, and that was really grand, you know. And uh, But he was a cowboy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us about his uh, political journey, particularly towards transitioning South Africa to democracy. It must have been a difficult time to go against the stream, as it were, uh, because of what was the pre prevalent thinking at the time. Uh, but for him to see that reform and transition was necessary, um, what sort of conversations did he have with you as his family? And what did you observe about uh, the change in his politics? You see, when... You know, they kind of hijacked in the old Nationalist Party, you know, uh, all those years ago because he was good uh, on television. He was good, uh, you know, when there's the election, you know. Uh, but he was never part of that, you know. Uh, always trying to, uh, trying to uh, change things from the inside, which was very difficult, you know. He almost got fired about... Ten times by <laughs> mm -hmm. PW and those guys, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, he was always uh, thinking about to uh, change things, you know. Yeah. And then after he came out of office and retired, uh, what what did he spend his time doing and talking about and uh, sharing with uh, you as his family? Well, mostly, you know, he's kind of crazy about nature, you know, uh, trees and uh, plant and, uh, you know, the bush felt and, uh, and stuff, you know. And, of course, uh, yeah, reading mm. stuff, yeah. All right. I know that uh, you've had a long career as a musician. I wonder, was there an artistic side to your father that you inherited? I'm surprised so, you know, he used to, he's, he's wrote all these poems always on the back of a cigarette box, you know, for the uh, 30s, you know, mm. never the old 30s. Mm. So there's about uh, 500 boxes, uh, empty cigarette boxes, <laughs> <laughs> full of poems. You know, he, uh, I think he didn't actually want to be in this game, you know, he, mm. Uh, he, uh, but he got almost, you know, forced into it in a way, you know. I mean, <laughs> he was ambassador in D.C., I remember I was a youngster with like 85, no, mm. 75, what am I talking mm. about? <laughs> 75, 76, 77. And he was working like really hard trying to defend you know, a government that was actually, you know what I mean, it was yeah. a hard game. Yeah. And then suddenly they made him Minister of Foreign Affairs. You know? At that time, 
I was about 20 years, 21 years old, and I thought, oh, hell, you know. It was always a battle between him and the right wing, you know. Sure. Always, wow. forever. Okay, Mr. Boerter, we're going to leave it there, but thank you very, very much indeed for taking time uh, to uh, help us uh, remember your father. Thank you so much indeed, and once I again, thank you. Uh, I thank you so much. Okay. All right. Okay. So that Take was. Care. Uh, All right. Thanks. That was Pete Boerter, the son of uh, the late Pick Boerter, one of four children uh, that he had.